Look at that beautiful golden wheat. It's almost harvest time. Let's get to it. Of course, I'm driving my beautiful new Dodge Ram here. Got our ATV in the back. Probably going to do a little crop scouting just to see how close we are to harvest time. Love it when the crops start goldening. Oh man, I'm driving with my mirrors unfolded. So I'm a fan of not driving with the tow mirrors out. I like them in when I'm not towing. That's just how I like it. Just pulling up over here by our dealership. Gotta open up our gates here. Got a double gate. So I have extra security for all them late night robbers around here. Not really, I just like how that looks with the sign and everything. Just looks beautiful in my opinion. So we're gonna pull up over here. So we actually sold one of our uh, semis. So we sold our uh, Mac Wrecker truck. So a uh, towing company ended up purchasing that. So I'm glad that finally got sold. Open up the door there. There we go. Beautiful Dodge. So, oh, I forgot. I got to unfold this tailgate here. There we go. We'll get that ATV out here a little bit, but we ended up selling the Mac record truck that was right here. So that's nice. Now we got, uh, still got one more record truck. This is my favorite. Don't tell the Mac company, but I like the Peterbilt better. That's a beautiful looking truck. Uh, so I'm thinking I would like another truck basically displayed right here on the hillside. I got these three trucks up in front. They look just beautiful to stop traffic, basically. That's what I the goal is. So I'm thinking maybe because this center uh, forward here is kind of a uh, wrecking truck with that uh, ramps on and everything. So I'm going to pull that up there on the hilltop. Start this old girl up. Go back it up. I love that display ramp right there. Works nicely. Alright, so I'm gonna pull this truck up here by our white picket fence. You guys have to see this place when at nighttime. It is just pops. Alright, so I think that wait. Oh, yeah, my LCD is going to come out. I need to pull it up a little bit further. All right, so there we go. So all these fence light up. So they have uh, basically charging, daylight charging lights on them. So they really pop at night. So all this, and we got above lighting. So we got a lighting around our fence there, too. Uh, we got lighting around our yard. Even got little pull lights at the bottom here. So this place just extremely pops at night. You guys got to see it one time. But we are going to get that ATV out and start checking our cropland. Remember, never do this at home. Woohoo! Almost went off sideways. That's why you don't do that at home. So we're going to ghost drive over to our new cropland. Remember, don't drive on the highway. All right, driving around here, driving on the neighbor's land there. Ooh, our barley is golden, that's for sure. Uh-oh. Is this ready to harvest yet? Let's see. So the best thing to do is just pick some heads here and we will shell out the heads 
and we'll take it in and see what it tests here I like to take multiple areas take a little low ground we'll also take a sample from the high ground and the medium ground and that should give us an all-round uh, moisture sample it is hot today it's 94 definitely don't want to be freaking running much all right so this is about middle ground pull some heads here all right put it in our little uh container tupperware container where did we park that atv oh there it is so we'll jump on here quickly ghost ride again so we're gonna run over so we got another field of wheat I want to test too so we'll run over there I like skirting right on the edge of this guy's field right by the fence here hopefully he doesn't see me doing this he might get kind of mad it's got to be a big farmer owning this giant field look at our beautiful dealership just love the appearance on the road what they see when they're driving by they see the Mack trucks up there on the hill they see the beautiful Peterbilt's there down on the ground and see the old Kenworth there they like the old style of course they have a few uh, flat tops and a nostalgic uh, Welker's version flat top right there on the side just beautiful I love how that turned out but we need to get off the highway here before we get flattened. We're driving uh, Grant's field. I don't understand why Grant doesn't end up uh, putting this field into crops. I don't know if this is uh, CRP land for him. Looks like he left a few crops there in the center. It's kind of odd that he hasn't uh, planted this yet. Look at my behind. I'm sitting at an angle here. It's kind of odd. That's how you have back problems. You sit like an angle. Usually you sit with the other cheek higher because you got such a big wallet. For whatever reason, I must have a canted seat or something. So we are going to check this field out. Oh, forgot to shut off the ATV. I can tell already by putting this in this wheat into my mouth that this is not ready doesn't exactly crunch in the mouth that's the high land too so that should be drier than the low land over here come on birds get out of here were you trying to eat my crop get out of here skedaddle birds so I think I'm going to, yep this low uh, wheat down here is definitely wetter, more moisture on the bottom here. So this isn't ready. So this basically will take two rounds with our uh, bee spine anyway. So I'm not too worried about that. Our uh, barley seems to be about ready, if not already ready, but we'll take that in. It's not even worth testing this. Where that part? Yep, there we are. So I think I'm going to take the ATV back to the dealer quickly. And uh, we need to go back here and get our combines ready. While I'm driving by here, I'll just take a quick run by my uh, corn. Corn is looking beautiful like always. And... It appears my uh, soybeans is up over here, so I'm glad for that, that's for sure. Uh-oh, we're going to hit this hill. Yee-hoo! Yep, get out of here, birds. Stop eating my crop. So the soybeans are doing good. I'm glad they finally uh, broke through the soil. Look at the back side of my dealership here. Just beautiful. Beautiful dealer. 
So I kind of like it with that Ford up on the hill like that. Man, I was looking at my dealer and I basically hit that pole. Good thing I wasn't going very fast. The four-wheeler rolled and I just rolled on top of it. That was lucky. That's why you pay attention when you're driving ATV. They're dangerous. Probably should be wearing a helmet. Definitely wear a helmet if you're driving ATV. Even if you don't think it looks cool, your brain will think it's cool after you wreck. So we're going to pull this over here. I'll probably park this over to the side. Oh, uh, you guys probably haven't met. So, this is Gina here. Gina, our old mastiff dog. So, everyone say hi to Gina. Beautiful. So, she's going to be our watchdog. Need to go over here and feed her. There you go, Gina. So, I'm going to jump in the Dodge here and uh, drive it over there. And uh, hopefully get my uh, combines ready. There, just a beautiful truck. I'm so happy I got this truck. Definitely beautiful. Love that service truck too. So we need to get over and uh, start getting our uh, harvesters ready. So we're gonna drive back here so to our farm lot. This is where I have mini bind and beast bind. I need to wake them up and get them ready for wheat. Uh, last thing, last thing Beast Spine had through it was corn, so I need to set it for wheat, get that ready. Beautiful. I don't know why my heater's running when it's 94 degrees. That's a little odd that that thing's running. Let's get this, uh, door open here so get some of that hot air out. So we did get mini buying a running. So I got everything basically figured out. So got the belts replaced. So I'm going to have to grease it up still. Still don't have our workhorse running yet. So that's stuck basically just in first gear. Uh, B spine should be about ready. Yep. So I just need to grease up mini bind here see if it will uh, start up so the problem is is the engineers really didn't consider people had to uh, grease this thing up you really have to get up in these uh, doors and everything so this is definitely not as easy as a uh, beast bind for greasing got our grease up the head too does look like the head is a little bit newer than uh our old international harvester you just see it's this slight color red off just looks like the the harvester faded and somehow the head kept its uh, red paint out there in the weeds all right so mini bind is greased up let's see if this old girl will start up nope still having there we go Might have been a little bit too hot for it, maybe? I don't know. There we go. Look at that. Hydraulics works. Heads hooked up. So let's get this thing out in the yard here. Am I going to clear that? Uh-oh. Looks like I'm going to have to go around that spout because that thing is... Might have to back it up a little bit. So I'll have to back it up right here, go around that spout. Definitely don't want to hit our spout. Oh, I left my lights on in my truck. Got to shirt them off. There we go. Shut them lights off. Don't want our battery to die. All right. So let's get in here. Can't see anything in these mirrors. It's odd that that mirror is way over there to the side. Alright, so here we go. 
Hopefully I'm gonna clear it. Just barely gonna clear that. Don't know if I'm gonna clear the door yet. There we go, got that side cleared. Woo! Good thing about this little itty bitty head is it will go down the road. Don't have to trailer this. Anyways, we're not gonna break any speed record with this combine. Even in high gear, it goes about 14 mile an hour. Oh well. Don't need to drive it many places. Might just save this combine for this uh, little piece of wheat here on the side. And it shuts off hard too. But that thing is running. So just love the white cap on there. Now I gotta get B spine started up. Some beautiful giant tires on there. Look at that. That's why you disconnect the battery. It starts up like a champ. So means this thing starts up we're gonna shut it off uh, I'm gonna grease this up I gotta do a few modifications I gotta change it to wheat so we're ready to go and recrop just got a few grease certs to hit here Man, it's really hard getting around this giant tire here just look how much clearance you got you just hardly have anything especially on the top there just no clearance whatsoever. You don't want to get too far into the mud. You'll just uh, take the side right off of that B-spine. Alright, so we're going to leave the corn head right here. I know, it's a John Deere corn head, but that John Deere makes some good corn heads. So does Capello, but... Stockmaster John Deere makes some good old corn heads. I definitely like the John Deere corn heads. So I'm gonna start this up, get it pulled out here. Alright. I forgot to look. Do I have clearance? Yeah, I gotta cut it hard. Cut it over to the side here. Definitely don't want to hit our unload wah auger. Alright. Now I'm going to drive out of here. Woo! Here we go. Now I got to go get the, the wheat head. It's over there at our old dealer. Jump in our truck here and go get our wheat head. Man, Beast Spine, you looking good looking good I need to finally put my planter away that thing has basically been out all season long all right so I need to back up to this uh, wheat head without running over any of my corn that's for sure probably be easier to back up if I put my tow mirrors out so I got our head hitched up now I'm gonna pull it over. I probably should have put it into a shed the cold storage a long time ago. Kinda was a little lazy though, that's for sure. And start heading down here. Man, that truck looks good. So I'm gonna go around our uh, lot here. And that's the way I can just pull this right in front of the combine quickly. Look both ways on this street. Swing it out ride so we don't hit that stop sign. Swing wide again. Definitely don't want to hit that uh, our fence there. Can't get over how much I like my new truck here. Alright. So definitely like my new truck with all of our red combines. Looks pretty with them all. Alright, so we're just going to leave it parked right there. We will uh, pull this truck off to the side. Shut off the flashers. Shut it off. Open the door here. Alright, so now I want to see, make sure this thing fits right and calibrate this uh, head. 
for this uh, B spine. All right, so now we gotta do some calibration. So basically, you gotta calibrate this so the the header uh, flex flexes right and also uh, goes over the ground right. If you don't do that, you kind of have to do it all by the cab, the old-fashioned way. But if you do calibrate it right, McDonald's they'll just float right over the ground. We're going to leave it unfolded so we can still transport it to the field. Definitely lock down your uh, head braces before you get under your head here. Make sure no little kids or no one's in the cabs just uh, accidentally hit a lever. So you don't want to do that, especially when you're around PTOs, when you're around the header, when you're working and everything. Make sure people know what they're doing inside the cab or have them outside the cab is even better. Or probably just have your combine off completely. Alright, so we got our head calibrated to where we need it. I think I'm going to lower it here quickly. We ended up unfolding it. I just wanted to make sure I calibrated it correctly. I uh, had the flex off. Man, is that thing looking good on that uh, case. I really wish we got the whole red McDon flex drapers. But we got the red stripe. Uh, case does, I think they went into contract with McDon and you can get a case McDon header. Wait a second, I heard something coming up the driveway. What is this? What is this coming up the driveway here? What is this thing coming up the driveway? This thing is crazy. Look at them tires. Wow, that thing is cool. So you're probably wondering, what is that doing on our farmyard? So I got a dimbo. I'm dimbling Optimus Vine here. So it's going to go with mini bind over there to the side and B spine. Just thought it would look cool. So basically Case is trying to make a bigger imprint around this Iowa area. So they're allowing us to demo this beautiful beast of a combine. These tires are just gigantic on this thing. I mean, look at it. That thing is a beast. It's also coming with another 45 foot draper header. So I think we got our farmyard set up now. So I don't, we got about 50 hours of a demo on this uh, beast of a combine. So we're not going to be able to demo it possibly throughout the whole harvest. We might run out of hours later on, but we'll see. But Man, that thing. I just love how wide these tires are. That thing is a beast. I think it'll look good. So we'll have an all red lineup here on the farm, at least for a little while here. But uh, you guys will have to let me know. Should I keep a Optimus buying over there? Just look how wide the tires are. Good thing that truck has a ton of flashers because, dang, that thing is wide. I don't think you're going to get them stuck. I mean, it it even puts B-Spine to shame here. B-Spine is wide too, but not near as wide as uh, Optimus Spine over there. Beautiful combine, that's for sure. But I think we are ready to harvest. We are definitely going to blow through the acres now. Might need to see if I can pick up a corn head for old mini buying here. So we can put it into the corn. But we are definitely set up. I need to go pick up the draper header from the dealership. But thank you all for watching and I will see you all later here in Iowa. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. See you next time.